Video games. You love them. I love them. Let's play a few here on this fine Thursday afternoon. What do you say? Uh, the stream came together extremely quickly today. <laughs> um, a lot of other life stuff popping off in succession. And so I have very quickly assembled a grab bag of some games that I have been meaning to check out. And I'm just going to take it right on over to our action already, kind of in progress, not quite, as I try to get it together here <laughs> and show you people some games. Why is this not working? There we go. All right. Let's, <laughs> Let's get my ass out of the way here. <laughs> Let's just get a move on. All right. Games. Um, yeah, like I said, I've, I've got a handful that I've just kind of been staring at over the last few weeks and have not really had any other venue to check out. And I think I'm just going to do a little bit of that here. Um, starting with this game, Go Mecha Ball, which I think somebody tweeted at me originally. I apologize. I cannot remember who originally brought this to my attention, but I've seen some talk that this might be up my alley. So let's get in here and find out. As soon as it starts. I think this is a roguelike of some kind, and I hear it's like a good mechanics game. It's a good controls game. It's one of those video games with controls. Spira? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> is this a Final Fantasy X spinoff? Hmm. Okay. Okay, underground cats in mecha suits. Got it. It's a fool's errand. There is no more fun in the world. You seen what's going on out there? All right. Well, let's just hop in here. Um. Okay. Max dropping on collision damage. Okay, this is all I've got to work with. Let's just jump in. I don't know entirely what to expect here. Woo! Getting dizzy. Okay. A little bit of an auto aim, it seems like, on the shooting. Wow, you just kind of have to vaguely point in the direction of the enemy. Ooh. Okay. Good. Oh, I guess I hadn't killed enough of them. Oh boy. You. What's up with this guy? Glide to get ammo. Does that mean you can't just like touch it or shoot it? Ooh. Oh. Ha. Oh boy, no, oh, that's not good. Okay, so in case it's not obvious, you're holding left trigger to roll, and then while rolling, you're hitting right trigger to kind of do a dash attack sort of thing. Alright, sure. Got it. Woo! Attacks, huh? Did I do it? Oh, 
Oh, I have to hit the guy? Is that what they want? My. Okay. Oh, they light up when they're about to attack. Is that what we're doing? I missed. There we go. Okay. Understood. It's kind of an interesting mechanic. Avoid heavy attacks, huh? me Slope. Oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> it's always weird when the achievement pops up in Windows before it does on the Xbox. In fact, I don't think it popped up on the Xbox at all. Weird. Is this going to turn into Marble Madness at any point? That's my question. Upgrades, not enough cash, not enough cash, not enough cash. Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, I'm good. Nothing I can do here? Okay. Whee! Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> I'm continuing to get achievements on, uh... Uh... On my PC for this Xbox game, but not in the Xbox game. Uh, sorry, I'm told it is a bit quiet? Or is that... How's the audio doing for everybody? I've got one, it's too quiet. That's that's the samples I have to play. I'll give it a second. Jeez, man. This stuff kind of pops off immediately, huh? Whoa! Rapid hole. Oh, hello. Man, this. Wow, jeez. I, I have no idea what even launched me. What's that thing? Oh, okay. Hold on. Got it. Well, glowing things appear to be. Uh, launch pads of sorts. Interesting. Huh, this is kind of bananas, actually. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I missed that deny. Sounds fine to me. Fine. Just fine. Balance is good. Alright. Kind of cool so far. So we'll 
just kind of getting a feel for it. Oh. A little bit of a pinball aspect now that I think about it with these things that all seem to be kind of designed to route you into each other. Huh. Duck is a shotgun. Sure. Ooh, hello. Seems like those denies are going to be a really big deal. Which is rough, because I don't think I've managed to do one on purpose yet. There's one. Huh. Yeah, this is sort of nutty. It's kind of a lot going on here. Control-wise and ability-wise. Oof. Didn't mean to go in there yet, but okay. MP, collision damage, double collision. Da, 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 da. Mm. Yeah, let's incentivize denies a little more. Maybe I can get a little more practice doing that. Oh boy. Wow. Yikes. Yo, this is hard. <laughs> Not necessarily like hard to stay alive as yet, but hard to juggle all the different things you can do efficiently and correctly. Like I can roll around and shoot stuff just fine, but there we go. It's, it's, like, specifically, it's like that. It's like hitting these denies at the right time. Kind of like one to two extra things more than you're used to juggling. Oh boy. Ah! Well, thank you. Shit, this guy blocks from the front. I see why there's so much auto aim now. <laughs> oh, good lord, what is this, the second stage? I'm about to die. It's a glitch. Seems like they're gonna make these denies absolutely crucial to staying alive.
Got a little bit of the like Doom Eternal thing of um, like collide with people to get ammo back, but I don't think there's an equivalent for health, is there? I don't remember them saying there was. Oh, good lord! Okay, barely. Grenade, max health. Boy, that sounds good. Kind of hard not to just take the passive everything. <laughs> not much of a heal on that. However... Ouch. Seems pretty viable to just kind of preemptively ram into stuff. And it's probably going to be about to attack you anyway. Whoa. Instead of waiting to see it turn red. This is not quite Geometry Wars on the video encode chaos front, but it's probably not far off. seems cool. Would you believe me if I told you I didn't quite always know exactly what I was doing at all times? Whereas, I mean, this is definitely one of those things where you find yourself doing things before you thought about what you're doing. There we go. Alright. That's how I feel about life, says Bobby the Fish. I get it. I get it. Erevon on Twitch. This is a better playing Sonic 3D Blast, but without the flickies. I don't need to know about your flickies. Thank you. Now let's take this grenade. <clears throat> is 3D Blast a Saturn game? That's Genesis, right? Or 32X for that matter. It's gotta be in that window somewhere, right? Ooh. Look, oh, is this not a this is not an action stage? Is it? This is a place to buy stuff. All right. Whoa, large cat, large cat with tentacles. Quack right, two. Mm, more health. Mm, I can use the health. Wait, what is this called? <clears throat> so I should be able to deposit in here, maybe? Not sure how, though. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. Looking for any tips, not seeing it. Whoa, no! Did not want to go in there. Boy, that thing has got pull on it. 
I don't think and every time I have gone into that thing so far, it has been unintentional. <laughs> but I guess I'm done shopping. Mm. Ah. I wonder if they. <laughs> literally about to say, I wonder if they do boss fights in this. Here we are. Yikes. Like, deny this thing all day long? Apparently not. Oh, good. Ah! Oh, the spawners? Jeez. Man, this is kind of a lot. I feel like I'm getting health back from something, I'm not clear what exactly. Nope, 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 not hurt. Maybe, maybe I'm just not getting health back, and I think I am. Get it, get it, get it! Crap. Die! Okay. I did. What do people think of this so far? Whoa. I think it's pretty neat. It's sort of a little different. It feels very good to play. I will say that. Oh boy. I mean, I think, like, specifically the in and out of the ball thing is, like, basically instant. It's pretty much crucial. You're blocking me. How do I hurt you? That one maybe you could only be damaged by collision. How do I get to where the enemies are? Thanks. 
Thanks. Lord, man. man this guy's a real fucker. <laughs> Just keep dodging my my collisions. Thank you. Just let me kill you. Back to. What's the difference from what I forgot? Lighter spread. Where those fried eggs I saw. Where did those fried eggs go? Ooh, try the flight two. Oof, it's big. Ah, no, no, no. stuff is getting way more overt now. <laughs> ah! Fried eggs. Seems like it's getting a little hitchy up there at the top. This is on a Series S, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, da -da -da. Collision damage. That's not terrible. Hmm. Collision kills. That's pretty good, actually. Does that replace my grenade? Getting boost back every time you get a kill seems kind of huge. I think I'll take that. Oh, is this one Game Pass? Well, there you go. Seems pretty neat. I guess I'll finish this run at least. Before we move on. We have two or three other things we could play. I mean, who am I kidding? I have like 10,000 other things we could play. <laughs> but within the very narrow category of games I have selected for today. up here in the air. These guys that launch themselves in the air are a real pain. Interesting. Seems like you get boosts off of these things even without using boost. Free boost. Seems useful. Oh, 
I'm say the end of that run is probably not far off. Oh. Didn't know those guys could use the tubes too. Looks like sometimes you can shoot these guys and sometimes you can't. Not clear what the difference is. One health. Oh. Okay then. Hmm. Um. Mm. I feel like I'm seeing a fair amount of repeats here in these. But whatever. All right. One health. I don't think this is gonna last much longer. We'll see how it goes. Oh! Oh! I think I might be dead. Am I dead? I think I'm dead. I'm dead. Alright. Uh, I'm 44 of whatever those are. Oh wait, I don't want to play again. I want to see what the meta progression is. Can I do that? not the ones I just picked up. I think. Aren't they? I'm confused. Where do I spend my little blue things? And if I quit out, is that the end of a run? I guess not. Okay. Uh, oh, maybe the blue coins are the thing you feed into that bank that I wasn't able to use before. Perhaps. I don't know. Anyway, this seems neat. Like there are more balls to unlock, which is always nice. One of them looks more like a cylinder. Just changing it up. Anyway. Yeah, cool. Let us go Mecha Ball. I guess it's on Game Pass from the sound of things. Uh, as I change games here, Nero Kip in the Twitch chat asks, what's my history with Jumping Flash? I think I rented Jumping Flash early on in the PlayStation era from a blockbuster is my history with Jumping Flash, and I played it. And it's pretty cool. Jumping Flash is pretty good. Uh, all right, how about a change of pace? How about a little palate cleanse after all that insanity? How about an NES game? <laughs> okay, this is super confusing to me. Okay, so this is Dead Tomb. Limited Run put out an actual NES cart. This runs on actual NES hardware. The box for that cart they put out, and now also this intro, both use the Acclaim logo. <laughs> and I have no idea what to make of that. Unless, has somebody resurrected the Acclaim name? Did somebody buy the Acclaim brand? And are they deploying it in a very strategic fashion? I noticed it said Acclaim Montreal, which is definitely not a thing that ever existed to my knowledge, although maybe it did. Bartman3010 says, I think it's a company that bought the brand and just calls themselves Acclaim these days. I mean, I guess you can do that. THQ Nordic certainly did. <laughs> Infocroms did that with the Atari name, famously. Maybe we should, maybe we should pull our number. <laughs> we should pull our money and buy an old defunct video game publisher brand, and just rename ourselves to that. <laughs> that would be a fun stunt. Okay. I 
Uh, this describes its own oh, settings. Let's see what we got here. Game manual. Okay, they did a relatively authentic looking manual design. I'll give them credit for that. Cool. Yes. Video way. Acclaim Montreal Collector Vision Games. Sure. Why not? Um. Anyway, yeah, like, so this, like I said, they put out an actual cartridge of this, which is sold out now, of course. Uh, but it does obviously run on real hardware. I'm sure somebody has dumped the ROM, which I have not seen, but I'm sure it's out there. Weirdly, this is not actually out on PC, though. Uh, also, it's also it's an adventure game, by the way. Take Skull. Eh, apparently it's not as bad as a Skull. Ah, okay, great. An action indicator. Mm hmm. Uh, I assume this will probably come out on PC at some point. I think it's only on Switch and Xbox right now. Kind of a weird combo. Taste that skull. Oh, come on. Come on, you couldn't write some goofy flavor text for trying to eat the skull. Uh. cyclicality. Can I take sand? Can I open sand? Can I move sand? <laughs> there we go. It's back there. Mm -hmm. Can I open the opening? Sand. Oh, you have to do it multiple times. Aha! Look at that. Hmm. Can't, like, crawl in there or anything? Doesn't look like. Twitch category, thank you for the reminder. I always forget. How many people do you think are streaming this game right now? Zero. Now there's one. Doing the Lord's work over here. Okay. Uh, tunnel, that's done. Um, I look up at... I mean, that's just where I fell in, right? Hmm. Can I open this thing. Can I use it. Can I taste it. Can I put it. Is this one better than the other one? Probably not. Okay. They probably want me to crawl through that hole, right? There we go. Just a question of figuring out which verb they want you to use. All right. Just expecting a little map interface. That's cool. Is this is this like a Maniac Mansion like? Never really played Maniac Mansion. Didn't that game use an interface a lot like this? Just like a big grid of verbs at the bottom. <laughs> what? Were there massive constraints on your inventory space or something? Why wouldn't you? 
be able to take a rock. Huh. Oh, sure. Whatever. Has been torn up. Oh. What do they leave inside? Yoli TX, of course. Disable notifications on this thing. Oops. Eh, it's not worth it. I'm still getting achievements in Windows and not on the Xbox. Very strange. Okay. Alright. Can't do anything with the translator as yet. But how about now? Translator. Not entirely sure how it wants you to do that though. I go here and just hit use. Not having it. Um. Hmm. Okay, yes. Chat confirms this is hella maniac mansion. Uh well, I could just move on for now. I don't see much else to do here with this thing. I'll see what else we got. I don't think it would let me take the backpack, right? If they do you the solid of telling you what you can interact with very directly. Sure oh no! Alright, well, definitely an adventure game. Thanks for the tip. Of course, if they're just respawning you right in the room you died in, not that big a deal. Try to take it, right? What if I move it? Oh! Anything I can do to this right now? Probably not. Hmm. Taste the rock. All right, Rock, we'll be back. We got here Apothecary, Shrine. Contains Toxic Poison. I guess the translator just works. Take to mean drink, necessarily. So much as like take a bottle and bring it with you. All right, lots of poison. Uh, you know what? Let's just do our due diligence. You are turning into bones, <laughs> aren't we all? When you get down to it. for next time. Hmm. What are these? Tiny statue. Are these all different? <laughs> all right. Just don't touch anything ever, apparently. Apparently. 
statues all different, I wonder. Oh. All Osiris. Something glinting? Yeah, it is. What is that? Nail. Odds this is going to kill me when I take it. Alright. Hmm. Trapdoor of some kind. Magic rope of some kind. Possible to undo the knot. Hmm. Well, I guess I could try cutting it, except what I have to cut it with? Nothing. But throw taste. Not sure, I can do much else with this at the moment. There's a little, like, drum samples in the background sound too good to be NES music. In fact, NES music shouldn't have samples at all. It sounds sounds like an actual instrument and not just FM synthesis. What is that about? Can I tie it? No, I can't even tie the rope. Granted, you know, there are people that are still making modern NES games in this day and age. <laughs> Certainly finding ways to make the NES do things it was not supposed to do. Uh, for that, for that matter. Soon pulling the rope opens the trap door. Have I not tried everything I can do though? With this. Taking and tried moving. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. Anything else in here to do? Doesn't look like I can interact with anything else in here. Uh, there's some NES game being made right now. I cannot remember the name of it for life of me, but it's like insanely way too advanced to be a Nintendo game. Like, it looks like a Genesis game, or better. I could not even begin to tell you the name of it. It's it's some kind of, like, pretty standard fantasy sword and sorcery looking thing. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? I think you can only play it on an emulator? I think it might actually... It's like it needs too many mappers to work as a real cart or something like that, but otherwise it's legit. I wish I could remember the name of that thing. It looked so ridiculous. I hope somebody can help me out. I should have saved uh, a link to it. Let's see. Okay. Anything else I can do with these? Can't take them or I'll die. Can't move them. Taste them. Mason? Messen? M-E-S-E-N? Now I, I have to look that up now. I need to know if that's it or not. Oh, is that just an emulator? No, I don't think that is what I had in mind. Alright. Uh, what is this game? Asks X Salty one It's called Dead Tomb. Uh, 
I have to warn you, I am fairly notorious for being short of patience with adventure games and not exhaustively trying every single thing I can try. So, if you have suggestions for things to do on things, please let me know. to do something with this boulder, maybe? This one does not roll. Is there anything I can do to it? Oh, right. The scorpion, right. Hmm. Head back to the beginning real quick, see if there's anything obvious that I'm not thinking of. I can't take the backpack. See a way to translate this? Taste the third bottle in the apothecary. Wasn't that poison? Wasn't it three poisons and one antidote? for it. Nope. I'm turning into bones. Still. Uh, let me just triple confirm. These are all poison except for the second one from the right. right. Perhaps the sting of a scorpion? I don't think I have any way to take it with me, though. Or it. Move it. Hmm. Throw it. Close it? I don't think I can do anything with it at the moment. Huh. I feel like there's got to be something obvious I'm overlooking here. I look at the... Oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah, good call. Maybe drinking the antidote actively protects you, as in you need to drink it before the scorpion? Not consider that. I already drank it. Okay. Aha! All right then. Okay. What do we got now? Can I take the scorpion? <laughs> oh, I'll be fine. the scorpion, eat it, throw it, put it, cut it, mm, close it, mm. oh, I've got the rock, okay, maybe, maybe I just needed the rock. Okay, perhaps I can... Is this game... Do you think it can handle compound stuff, like tie rope to rock? Nope. Uh... Maybe if I issue the command here? Aha! No. Just 
in all the hues, nope. rock to break it off the wall. Yeah, it's worth a shot. I think it would really help if I if I got more into the mindset of just use everything on everything instead of trying to logic out whatever the game designers thought you should do. Uh, it just still raises the question of how you use thing on other things. at nail. Nope. I'm like, I feel like the interface maybe leaves a little something to be desired here. This one does not roll. Oops. Popple tree says go back one room. Check next to the exit of the previous room. Assuming you meant here. Oh, not to or maybe that was an old chat message. Anything else I can do in here? It does not look like it. Um, is there anything else I could use a rock on that I haven't tried? in this crack, but why not? I don't know. I'm kind of out of ideas. Unless there's just something about the way you use items on other items and the way you connect them with actions that I'm missing. There's something I can do with the rock here with these little statues? I'm still, I'm still, have you tried using everything with everything? That's kind of what I'm trying. But, again, I'm not 100% clear how to use items on other items. I tried throwing rock, I tried using rock. Or would it just prompt me from the environment to use it if it was actually a valid thing to do? I don't know. If the manual has anything to say. Mm-hmm. Probably not. Combine a verb with words. Verbs are a kind of word. Uh, okay. That did not really give me much insight. And using items. I, 
feel like I've come at this from every angle if I were to, say, throw that rock at that nail. Really not seeing a way to do it. Alright, what do we think? I hate to just leave this without solving a major puzzle, but I don't know how much fun this actually is to watch. Is this consoles only? As far as I know right now, it is only Xbox and Switch and a Nintendo Entertainment System. You know what's a good puzzle? Bellatro. I have Bellatro. On this Xbox, as a matter of fact. Have not played it. As yet. Try taking the nail again. Alright. Nope. Nope. Kidding me? Uh, well, now I have a nail. What do we think about that one? I don't know about that one. Um, use the nail on the rock. Use the nail on the rope in some fashion. I throw the nail. Scorpion with the nail. This music is slowly driving me insane. I have to be honest. Um. It's like the combination of this relentless beat and my complete inability to figure out anything to do in this. Putting me in a weird space. All right. Any other suggestions? Bartman3010 says, should fire up King's Quest V NES over this. Man, I need to see that. Played King's Quest V VGA at my friend's house back in the day. I don't know that I've ever seen the NES version. I bet that's weird. Bella 19XX. While standing on the trapdoor, use hammer nail with rock. I don't have a hammer, but. Aha! Okay, finally. Finally, I understand how to use items on things. You can only do it when it's very explicitly prescribed. Good to know. Hammered nail into door. What does that give me? Does it allow me to open the door? Can't, like, pull the rope now, can I? How did I get to that? Was that a use? Was it use that got me that menu? I need to keep that in mind. I guess just use everything. Let's see. Aha! Okay. All right. Now I'm okay. So forget about the inventory, basically. I like I'm very, I'm very Sierra pilled from childhood of go into inventory, pick item, like use it on thing in the environment. This seems like it's very much just pick verb. Maybe, maybe that's a Maniac Mansion thing, which I have not played. It seems like it's very much just use verb on thing in environment, and if there's something you have that matters, it'll just tell you. That's <laughs> sure. Very explicit about just pick tie, and it's just like, there it is, there's the solution. Just tie the rope to the nail. All right. Uh, 
still not entirely sure how to activate this, though. Just a matter of peeling apart which fucking verb they want you to pick. There we go. Thank you. Finally. We're gonna finish this fucking game. No, we're not. New music! Thank fucking god. We are gonna finish this game. Sand is spilling in. Can I move the sand? Can I open the door? Okay! And yeah, it's kind of a weird platform for this type of game if you're gonna make a brand new one. I mean, obviously, games like this did exist on the NES, but they seem like I think they were mostly ports from computer of various types. Maniac Mansion, Shadowgate, all that stuff, like all computer games first. So weird, this is not actually on computer of any kind. Um, alright. Can I close the door? Can I take the sand? Oh, alright, let's come back. Weird, they make you stop in every room you come across and walk through it. Water. Well, I should probably taste that. Oh, come on. Take the water. Wait, and then what? Wait, am I? Where? If there's no water in my inventory, then there's no water. Weird. Weird. I'm so sure about this game. Same. Tree seems to be thirsty. Can I, like, use water on it? Throw water. Nope. Pour water, probably. <laughs> okay! Wait, can I do it again? Mm-hmm! So thirsty? Let's get it from over here this time. Damn, thirsty tree. How much you want to bet when it's full grown, it's going to kill me. Alright, tree's good. Oh, now there's fruit. Spiky skin. Sounds a little bit dodgy, but I guess we're fine. Oh, can I grow more fruit? Hmm, you just said it was thirsty. Okay. Our freedom. More statues, huh? Oops. More Osiris. This game is pretty limited in scope, I'm going to say. 
What? Huh. Is that a password? Take four? What? Weird. Hmm. Very strange. Must have been a Tomb Raider, am I right? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Have to move. Anything up here? Nope. Nope. Hmm. Can I, like, climb up on the block and get the torch? By any chance? I've tried everything, right? Everything's sensible. Let's just try everything. When in doubt. Um, let's see. Still have this rock. Of course, as we've discovered, it kind of doesn't matter what you mean. If you have it in your inventory, it'll just tell you to use it, right? I don't even have to worry about sifting through the inventory, I suppose. Wait. Wait, where was that? There it is. Clean spot where a small object once was. Uh, should I put something? No. Seems like a really conspicuous thing to let you keep interacting with. I don't know. Oh shit. Don't mind if I do. Wait, come on, really? Oh, well great. Okay. Um Can I cut the fruit with the knife, maybe? Okay. Sweet smelling interior. Now oh, what? Paste it. Better time to eat it. Okay. Hmm. What was over here? Oh, right. So get out of there. Uh, okay. Let's go read them. <laughs> Use the dagger on yourself to greet Osiris. I like it. from uh, Isabella 19XX. Might be worth going to see if I can cut the rope now that I have the dagger. Another thing I have a bad habit of in adventure games is assuming, like, thing from previous era probably... area, excuse me. Probably doesn't have any relevance to the thing I'm currently doing, but... Yep, sure enough. Is there anything else I should go back and look at? I can't remember. I don't think we really left anything else behind. I mean, there is a scorpion. Maybe I should go see if I can kill the scorpion. Okay. I 
cut you. Ah. Fine. Easy peasy asking what system this was originally on. Nothing. This is a brand new game. Uh, but it is made for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And it does, in fact, run on that hardware. Um... Let's see, is there anything I can do in this crypt? Oh, I should have seen if I could take that plank with me. I didn't seem like you could put that in your inventory. Do I have anything new that I could use on this door? I don't think so. It's outside. I wonder if this is the ultimate exit from the game, perhaps? Also, what if this thing is like super, super short? <laughs> that would not shock me. It is, in fact, super short, I am told. Maybe it can. that you can still interact with the plank. Maybe not at the moment. Did I do anything else to this? Can I, like, open this or something? No. Cut it. I can't say I'm moving through this at a particularly brisk pace, but I find something kind of compelling about it. Kind of want to keep playing it. sand to keep it from crushing you. You can cut the fruit with the knife. Yeah, I tried. I did that. Unless you can do... Oops. Unless you can do it again. Nope. I mean, yeah, this is very much like use the fruit at the right time at this point. First PSX title you reviewed? Good lord, man. I don't know. Uh. Maybe one of the Breath of Fire games? I think I reviewed like Breath of Fire 3 or something? Or 2? I don't know. I reviewed, uh. I reviewed Dragon Quest 7. Believe it or not. It's the knife instead of using the fruit. You mean like this? stock here. Rope, rock, knife, fruit, and then whatever the hell this shred of map thing is. Oh, can I use the translator on that in some way? Hmm. I don't really see a way to. Okay. 
time to get serious. What am I missing? These are, you know, I haven't even tried these. Like, I assume these are just going to kill me like the other ones, but maybe not. Yep, they do. God, this music is so much more palatable than the other one. Uh, taste the fruit? Yeah, I tried that. It said, uh, don't do that now. Maybe a better time to eat it. I'm not sure, entirely sure what that better time could be. Like here? Eat this fruit in front of this block. What? Adventure games. That's great. That's so stupid. <laughs> yep, now I'm back to normal strength again. Uh, that's so dumb. Uh, what do I use, hole? Don't answer that. It's getting dark. Oh, it must have been a Tomb Raider. Empty bottle, I bet I cannot take it. As useful as that would be. Wait. Wow, really? Seriously can't interact with that? It's like an arrow or something? Filling out this map, I have to say, it's like a room with nothing in it whatsoever. Really making some progress through this video game. Wait, this isn't some kind of Lost Woods situation, is it? Oh god, help me. Like where this is going. <laughs> what the fuck? This is weird. Is this just padding? And we got yet more new new music, so I don't know why I keep looking at skeletons. Every time I see a new one, I'm like, this time it'll be different. Holy shit. Hmm. Whoa. Check out that eyeball. Boy, I bet I can't take that. Huh? angry. Maybe I need to divert the eye or fool it. Or just hide myself from it in some fashion. Come back. Burial chamber. Oh no, it's a mummy. Show me a mummy. Alright, might as well leave that open. 
Breath of Fire 4 is the one I reviewed, yes. Whoa, shit. How'd I get up here? Wait. What? What? Hang on. That's my ship. It is shut closed. Good to know. All right, well, let's just get in here and fly off and finish this game. Oh. Whoa. Cool. Oh, wow. Hey, it's got command history. Our source missing. Oh, hey. Look at that. That's the, that was from that paper. What does that do? Telekino. What do I do with a telekino? Hmm. Alright, well, apparently nothing. Uh, I'm confused how... I got from here, well, I can't, I can't exactly point at the screen to, oh, is this a passageway? Is this is not, this is not just a sarcophagus to hide in, is it? Some kind of tunnel or something? Just happens to be two identical looking burial chambers on either end. Whoa. Oh, wow, there's multiple of these. Huh. Maybe that was an arrow I could pick up earlier, because that sure is a bow. Saying this is the original one. Yes. All right. Footway. <laughs> and do they even let you look at the skeletons anymore? I might have. I might have written a couple more lines to cycle through for those. I don't know. Life carved into the door. That looks too big to fit the onk from earlier, but maybe it does. Um, probably nothing to do here at the moment. Can I go get that arrow now? God, I'm gonna have to go all the way through that tunnel again, aren't I? Probably not do anything there for now. Alcove. How's everyone doing? Just hanging out in this tunnel. this in here. Huh. Well, I full-on cannot interact with that arrow. Thought maybe it would let me once I had the bow? Hmm. Can I... I mean, I can't, there's not even, like, a question mark, so I assume it's just completely inoperable. I can't, like, use the bow while I'm standing on it, can I, or anything like that? That's nope. Hmm. Dan the Brad says, I yearn for this game to be beat. I kind of, I'm kind of with you. I kind of, kind of feel like I might be close enough to the end of this to just go for it. Uh, alright. I don't think I can do anything with that arrow, though.
Artifice Shell says there's probably one specific arrow somewhere. Yeah, I would believe that. Clearly not this one. Maybe this is just foreshadowing. Probably don't need to go all the way back here, do I? Was there anything that I have forgotten that I can make use of? Let's just jog my memory really quick. Right, right. Okay, I don't think so. I don't think there's anything. And the Brad says, you didn't go down that staircase yet. Which one? Did I not? This one? Wait. This, oh, did I not go down this one? I could have sworn I did. Oh, geez. Well, thanks for the tip. Boy, they sure are filling out like half of this map with tunnels. I'm not so sure about this. Hello. What have we here? Sonic's... Ultrasonic Stone Breaker. Meant to be used in the Arctic. Interesting. out every time they leave something behind that you can interact with after you took an item. It's the second time they've done that now. It feels like something that might matter. Okay, stone breaker. What have I seen that I could stone break? Areas of interest. There's the big door with the sand spilling through. There's the eyeball and the onk. There's the onk indented door. What else we got? Man. There have to be some shortcuts at some point, right? I guess you can kind of use the sarcophagus network to skip around a little bit. <laughs> Artificial Shell says there was a crack at the very beginning, but they wouldn't do that to you, would they? I have bad news for you. Wow. Yeah, somebody in the chat said that's just a zapper. It sure is. I can't, I can't just use the zapper on the eye, can I? No, probably not. Okay. Sadly, there's no shoot. Fire 4, Dragon Warrior 7. Was it still Dragon Warrior then? Final Fantasy X 2. Did they give you all the JRPGs? Yes, they... I mean, not all of them, but yes. Quite a few. Um... I had a better sense of... Where exactly these things drop you. Also, the whole process of going through these is a little bit convoluted. Again. There we go. Where does this put me? Oh, right. Somebody earlier said they thought they saw something on the ground up here. Oh, yeah. Shield. 
An old hitty shield. It's the best kind. Yes, I, I okay. Yes, artificial shell. I also had the same idea. Maybe they, maybe they were going for Hittite there. Uh, but yes, I'm gonna try using the shield on that eye. Hmm. Probably done in here. Can I just not even get out? Wait, do I have to like open it and get out and then get back in? And then close it? Apparently, yes. So that, that whole process kind of feels like this is the best we could do with the capabilities of our engine kind of thing. Uh, where was that? shield. Alright. Huh. Interesting. Got that onk. Booking now. Says you needed the telekino from the ship. I didn't realize that was something I could take. Holy moly. Footway. Serpent room. Hmm. Wait, why can I not take the papyrus? Oh, because you have to look at it. Are these checkpoints? Is that what this is? Like every time you find one of those, you've essentially checkpointed. System, if so, oh, come on. Thought I could at least get close to it to look at it. Can I use the shield again. I was holding it before, though, right? God, you can't even get near that thing. Is there? I think so. All right. Uh... Hmm. Maybe I need an arrow to kill the snake. I suppose I can just shoot it. No. something at it? No. Nope. It's not look like it. Uh, hmm. Cut it? No. Nope. I should probably move on. Oh, hadn't been down here, have I? Jar storage. Decorative. Is one of these not decorative? <laughs> mm hmm. A dark liquid. Okay, can I just drink the liquid then? Is it just more antidote?
Wait. Shit. Can I take one of the other jars? Wait. Those are pots. That says jar to carry it in. Uh, hmm, have I seen a jar anywhere that's not one of these? Oh, these are all new rooms, okay. I don't know. Oh, finally! Oh, great. <laughs> I just left a room where I needed a jar, but now I figure I will never need this jar. Uh, I know the crossbow in the upper corner of the room. if I mess with this thing, which I'm about to do. Front exception. <laughs> the lack of punctuation on those three lines was chef's kiss. Just perfect. I need to see that one more time. <laughs> what could it be? not as easy as just holding the shield while I do this. Sure is. Okay. Alright. I got the scepter. I got the arrow. Can I, like, do I need to combine the bow and arrow? Probably not. So, alt. Oh. Gold plated wooden chest. I need like a key, probably, or something. Oh, weird. How like the scepter opens the crate? Take them or not? What? This game's weird, man. All right. Maybe I. Hmm. I don't know. I have no idea. No idea. Shoot the snake with the arrow by chance. <laughs> Throw the arrow at the snake with the bow. Sure. Okay. I take the cobra. I eat it. That's a jar. Cooking with gas, I believe they say. Although at this point, I'm not sure what I actually need this liquid for. Take liquid. Okay. Uh, any insight into what this is? Nope. I assume it's full of liquid now. Oh, interesting. These are adding on to each other, aren't they? Huh. Well, I assume I have the liquid now. Or do I? Okay, I do. Can we use the knife with the snake corpse? I don't know, let's find out. Worth investigating.
Nope, I don't think so. Nope. Um. Hmm. Am I done in this area? I think I've, have I done everything I can do? Okay, I got the liquid. done in here. The other one was the chest with jewels, which I'm not sure what to do with right now. I just hate to go run through eight miles of tunnel and then realize I needed to get something out of here that I did not. Remove jewels? What?! Well, I'm glad I came back. Uh, what did that accomplish? I can't interact with the jewels. Now I just have an empty crate. The crate seems to be stuck. Can I put it? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Mm. I don't think I need that for anything. Ah, I just I hate to leave and then have to come back later. Try though. Missed a couple of items that you need. Okay, thank you for the tip. Um, I think I'm done in the rest of this area though, probably. I hope. down in there unless I need to travel the sarcophagus network. Oh wow. Alright. I don't think there's anything else to do with the eye, but you never know. <laughs> I like how it sees the shield coming and it's like, nope, never mind. I had started with this game. I don't have a ton more time, but I kind of just want to finish it. Uh, did I finish down here? How close to the end am I, if anybody knows? this is going to be a long process of running back and forth through tunnels looking for what I've missed, then that doesn't sound especially entertaining. Pretty close, but missing at least three items. That does sound fairly substantial.
Oh, come on. Did they just get near the end of development and just be like, oh god, our map is way too big, we just need to add 800 tunnel rooms to make it look like it's filled out? It kind of does look filled out. I don't really see anywhere they could fit more than like a room or two. I guess they might cram a little more in there. Okay, there's the room with the big door with the sand spilling out. I've not done anything there. There's the very starting room with that crack in the wall that I didn't do anything with. Where does this put me? Oh, right. Test that idea that we could take the telecue. What, I can't look at the telekino? Is it forbidden? Alright. That's that. Oh my god, it's a power glove. What? Alright. Good to know. Uh, should I use the computer since I got that second password? Probably not. Alright. Probably done here. I assume. Can I wear my power glove? Ooh. Um, hmm. I got that liquid and I don't know what to do with that. Like, what is new here? I've got the power glove, I've got the zapper, I've got the liquid. I'm just trying to think of something I haven't done and something I haven't used. like I was done in this whole wing here. Oh man, but to get back to that earlier stuff, I have to go through every tunnel again. Uh. Oh good. You need an item from the beginning. Cool. Well, now that I know that. at the idea of somebody going back and reading my old reviews. I doubt those hold up very well. I don't know. Maybe they're serviceable. Ah, you know, I mean, whatever. They went through GameSpot editorial and copy edit and so forth. Some of my high school newspaper stuff that I uncovered a few months ago was unreadable. Not not in the sense that it was, like, incomprehensible or anything. It was just embarrassing. <laughs> Astonishingly embarrassing. Could not stand it. Uh, all right, well, now that we're here, I 
as well look around. Is there anything to do with these Osiris statues? Damn, the Brad says. Also, there's a playable Game Boy in one of the sarcophagus rooms. Interesting. Okay, probably done in here. Assume I'm done in here. Still nothing to do with this plank, right? Nope, doesn't look like it. Super strength with the fruit again? Probably not. No. Nope. Do I want the answer or do I want to continue to go insane? Oh, I don't know if I'm quite at the just tell me what to do point yet. But kind of. Is there anything I can do with this yet? I guess I'll ask that. I'm guessing no. from the beginning, but I don't know, like, how how much of the beginning we're talking. Can't take the ring handle, can I? Ricky Guitarist says, wish this had a universal hint system guide. You and me both. UHS was so awesome. I think I found that thing pre-internet. I think I got it off of BBS. It's like magic. Um, probably don't have anything else to do in here. Monkey Man says, great to see you. Great to see you, too. Thanks for being here. I don't think I can do this damn scorpion yet. Oops. Probably don't need to. I'm just kind of desperate at this point. Contemplating going through all 147 reviews. Please hold why would you do that? Why would anyone want to do that? Still can't take the pebble, huh? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute, what was that? Oh, another pebble. Okay, never mind. Well, here we are. Once again. Is there anything I can do with the stupid crack? like you can fit another jar in there. True, I didn't consider that. That's where the antidote was earlier that I drank. I did not think about that. Maybe there's something to that. Can I put? Oh! Use. Oh. I, 
think maybe technically there's still a bottle there, even though you can't see it, but when I try to do anything, it references the bottle, so I guess it's still there, technically. Yeah, it is. Weird. Weird. I should stop playing this. I've got other stuff I have to go do. I don't think we're going to get through the end of this today. Unfortunately, if I had known, I would have started with this. Really resisting the urge to just ask for solutions. Damn, the Brad said I needed an item from the beginning. That was the beginning I was just in, and I didn't see anything to do. Hum. Anything over here? Oh. Is there a fact for this? Has anybody written a fact for this? I'm not saying I'm going to go read it. I just want to know if facts are still getting written in a timely manner. <laughs> Like, I have to say, the last few times I've been to Game Facts for anything, like, relatively new, I was pretty disappointed in the lack of facts. I cannot stand for this lack of facts. Like, are people even still writing facts for everything that comes out? Have YouTube guides just smothered everything else? Put on the tree. Hmm. No facts. Someone has a 100% achievement video for it. Yeah, I was actually, I kind of was curious what the achievements are like for that. Apparently I got them all already. I, okay. <laughs> Never mind, moving on. Man, am I really that close to the end that I've already gotten all the achievements? Hmm. There's a long play video on YouTube. It's 40 minutes. I mean, I have to be pretty close to the end. I just fucking can't figure out what I'm missing. Uh, can I pour the strange liquid on the Osiris statues? I'm just willing to try anything. You know, Brad, there's one achievement you don't have yet, that's for sure. I was planning to play some of that on the end of the stream before I ended up falling down this rabbit hole. Nope. Can't pour that weird liquid on the sand. I think I have to stop playing this. I think I have to stop. I very much wanted to finish this, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, man. I mean, I actually, I don't think I can go deeper in because I was told that I'm missing an item from the beginning, right? But I have no fucking idea what I'm missing. Use the zapper. Oh yeah, that would make sense. The sonics on that crack. That absolutely does make sense, but I don't know what verb to use to get that. I thought I tried most everything, but maybe not. What did I not try? Try to open. Oops. Just try literally everything. Cut. Put. Throw. That is a good idea because that thing is built as a like rock smashing device, right? Nope. Stone breaker. Um, I 
short ranged levitator. Huh. I thought I had looked at this. I hadn't actually thought to read the description on it. Um, but what have I seen that needs levitating? Can't really think of much. I said I was slowly going insane earlier. I think the, the pace of insaneifying is picking, picking up rapidly. I may have to turn this off. I, fucking, I don't know what else to do. I think I might have hit my limit on this for now. Is it going to checkpoint me here, or is it going to checkpoint me the last time I pick up Papyrus? Because if that's the case, that would really suck. Um... For that matter, how do I quit out? Here we go. Oh, I never checked out the border options. 8-bit legit. It's me. Oh, it's even more legit when you put the wood paneling on. Anyway. Um... What does reset game mean? I'm not gonna like reset to start, am I? Let's find out. Dude. Please tell me that didn't just wipe my progress. Oh, thank God. Ah! What? Oh, all right. Okay. Yes, I can go back and look at the archive. I'm not doing that right now. Just the idea that you even have to do that. Well, that was not exactly a short password. Uh, I'll lower my armrests here. Oh, man. That was a lot of that game. Oh, man, I, I, hate, I hate that I am in the, like, last 10% last of an adventure game thing of, like, I missed one thing and I've got to figure out what it is. And going back and forth is incredibly tedious. Now, I'm going to have to finish that at some point, though. Although, I did get all the achievements, so... Do I really have to finish it? I don't know. Uh, how's the game audio been through this whole stream? How did my, my filter chain even everything out? Hopefully. The last two times I've streamed, I've had to dump the audio from the stream and go in and massage it manually to make the mix more listenable before I uploaded the video. And that takes some time. Hopefully that will not be a problem. For your sake and mine.
Oh boy, it's getting hot now. I gotta warn you, I am feeling extremely not on it right now. Right on cue. Oh my god. Terrible. Just inexcusable. I need to make some kind of interstitial break animation thing that encourages both me and everyone else to stand up and get some water. I've really come to feel the sitting for too long is not a good idea. I mean, not some great revelation. But from a lower body circulation standpoint, I really need to start standing up more. And stuff to do when you're streaming and you're like, I can't just walk away from the stream for three minutes. But what if you had a visual? tell you what my idea was, which I have not gotten around to. <laughs> I pulled up the classic Windows 3D text screensaver. And I typed in stretch and hydrate. I was going to record a video of that screensaver. I have not gotten around to it. Surely I can do better than that. Something about Dead Tomb legitimately kind of fried my brain. <laughs> like, ugh. ugh. Snap out of it, man. What if this was the run? Like, what, if, what if it just was? If it was the run, would you know? How would how would you know? You wouldn't know. That one did. Then again, I lived, so maybe I loved it. Uh, no, you don't, you dastardly snakes. fucking with that. <laughs> like five black holes all activated on top of each other. That's just... Time to pull the ripcord. I said last time I need to like shoot in front of myself more I think 
I've got a bad habit of shooting like behind the side, trying to clear stuff that's chasing me. Maybe just a very slight tweak in strategy to pay off. I saw it coming, god damn it. Fuck. I literally was sitting motherfucker, I was sitting there looking at it. Uh make a little confession, I had somewhat convinced myself in, the, in my head that might be the run. I was just like, you know, what if I kept telling myself it was the run and then it was? pink things, man. I swear to God, it's always the little ones. Just that little swirly pattern they do around you is... Man! Hmm. Geometry Wars on modern consoles. Yes, I am playing this on a Series S as we speak. It is fully backwards compatible. It's also on Steam. Although, as I've mentioned recently, I could not get the Steam version to run. <clears throat> there seems to be a number of homebrew fixes for that that most people seem to think are, are worth trying. I said this last time I played this, but maybe I should just say it every time I play it in case somebody from Microsoft ever hears. I should just remaster this game. Like, you don't have to add anything to it. Just add native HDR support and make it run at 4K. Like, just make it render at 4K, add HDR, that's it. It's held for five bucks. State of the source code is for this. I wonder if it's even still accessible. times that I die to something I didn't even see coming. Kind of makes me question sometimes if I'm ever going to get this. Because if I don't even see what kills me half the time, kind of hard to avoid things you can't see. Or don't see. Maybe this ship has just sailed. Spawn the little blue things. 
Oh, Jax? That kind of looks like Jax. Any Geometry Wars experts in the chat that could tell me does bombing stuff contribute to your multiplier? I've always assumed it does not. But I don't actually know. Like everything you bomb, everything you kill when you bomb. Feel so good. Mowing this massive wad down. So much multiplier. Imagine if I still had my multiplier from the beginning of the run. guys. Ah. Uh. Wait. Bombing resets your multiplier? Are you sure about that? That seems very harsh. I'm not saying you're wrong, but I never noticed that before. That's an easy way to find out. And I'll just lose it. Let's find out. Okay, I bombed. Oh. Oh, I still got my multiplayer. Shit. <coughs> far off of my all time. Which is... 2.2. Oh. Frankly, my feeling is if I can't hang with this, I'm probably not going to get that achievement. So, I had better figure it out. Shit.
bombs. It's getting bad. What are you even supposed to do? For this and call it shit. Damn rough. The cheating if I go look up like advanced strats. Holy shit, look at this mass of stuff. Oh my god. This is deranged. Through chat, I thought I saw somebody talking about the video compression. Ah, yes. Someday the technology will exist to stream this game properly. You know what? I should do a test and code, actually. I should just, like, do a local encode, uh, like, some AV1 footage of this at whatever bitrate Twitch is likely to allow for AV1. My fear is they're just going to drop the ceiling on the bitrate you can feed with better codecs, so things aren't actually going to get that much better, but we'll see. But... I should, I should see what a modern codec makes this game look like at, like, 8 megabit or something. Okay. Actually, that's not just my fear. That's flat out what they said they're doing with that, uh, the test they're doing currently with EV1 and H.265. I think the max bit rates on those that they're accepting, granted, it's just a beta, but they are they're definitely lower than what they're taking in right now. sure it'll still look better overall, but how much better? I don't that I needed to stop the stream to do. Oh well. There's always tomorrow.
Ah! Oh, God damn it, man. Those things blend into the background so bad. Ah! Uh, man. I did it again. I got myself all worked up. I kept telling myself, this is it. You're gonna do it. Just keep telling yourself you're gonna do it, and then you'll do it. And then I didn't. Now I'm just deflated. I already missed the thing I was going to go do. One more. Some discussion in the Twitch chat about ownership of this IP and why nothing has been done with it. And people were like, because of Activision, but then now Microsoft is in the picture. Will Spencer absolutely seems like a guy who would recognize the value of doing something with this. Uh, I don't know when or if I will ever be in a position to speak to him again, though. <laughs> the idea. I'm here in silence, playing Geometry Wars. The zoning out. I go back and forth on whether I should try to keep a monologue going while I'm doing this. I don't know. Not sure what's more conducive to getting into that flow.
running through these bombs. Something uniquely satisfying about having a black hole that's just about to explode and then shooting it all the way back down. Black hole use. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Not like where this is going. Not even remotely going to ask somebody to do this. I certainly don't have the time, but I would love to know out of every attempt I have ever made at this achievement on video, what is the highest, what's the closest I've ever gotten? What is the highest score I've gotten when I die? I think I can get into like three, four hundred pretty reliably. I don't know that I can go much past that. I don't know if I have gone much past that. I would love to know, like, was there ever a time when I was doing, like, five, six hundred K before I died consistently? I don't know. I don't know. the part where I was in my 20s when this game came out. And now I'm pushing 45. Probably not helping. start another run, so I'll just finish this one out, see how high I can get. Because it is fun to play the late game in this. A bit crestfallen though, you might say. I didn't buy much on this run, did I? It was just the ones? Twice at most? It's actually not so bad. Get away! Get away! Man, I can't believe I shot my way through all that. Max lives and bombs? Is that possible? Can you 
go past mine? trying to like rate my capabilities here it seems like positive sign as I'm sitting here questioning whether I can even still do this or not Assholes. Just do not stop coming. Punching a hole through those things is so difficult. Just falling apart. Brad should set aside a bottle of whiskey for when he gets this achievement. Definitely got plenty. I don't know what I would go to. I've got about one fifth of a bottle of Oban 14 left open at the moment. I don't know if that's like nice enough to celebrate this particular occasion though. Nicer stuff, but not much. Bottle of Lagavulin 16. Bottle of Yellow Spot. Yellow Spot is the most expensive thing I have. Man, I have six bombs left. I just kind of zoned out and totally ate shit on that one. I'll do one more. I feel like I've been playing reasonably well today. Get a little more quick shot. What else do I have in there? I kind of just went on a run of buying whiskey anytime I could get a sale price or some kind of. Devmo sent me a coupon or whatever. And then bought a bunch and then have been sitting on it for two years. Got a McCallum of some kind, and I might have two McCallums actually. Bottle of Red Breast. Bottle of Akintoshin 3 Wood. Anyone? I think that's most of the interesting stuff. Which again has just been sitting there unopened for ages.
Oof. I almost just ate it at 44,000. Maybe, maybe it's time to call it. Spawn snakes on top of snakes. That that seems illegal. fucking thing was there. Ugh. I started the bomb and I was like, no, it's just snakes. I can shoot my way out. I have fucking red motherfucker lurking in there. Unseeable. Ugh. After this, do we get an endurance run of Fable 2? Uh, I guess I'm not opposed to it. Is there a reference I'm missing there? I don't know. some kind of reference to something specific, I would believe it, but I don't remember it. Oh, that's so annoying. Last one for real. I mean, it's like 150 on that one, that barely even counts.
Uh oh, no bombs. Shit. Alright. Challenge accepted. <laughs> All right, that's it. I give. <sighs> that wasn't even like a hard enemy. It was like like a little purple pinwheel dudes. They just kind of float. Yeah, I've officially tapped out for the night. Have I talked about the Tetris happenings on any of the podcasts? No, what are those? I don't know anything that's been going on with Tetris. Unless it was the beating NES Tetris stuff from a few weeks ago. Geometry Fruit Wars is so video game, it sure is. I could not have said it better. I might say it's the purest video game. <laughs> the most distilled essence of game you can get. Hours of Dead Tomb, or whatever it was. 90 minutes. I'm gonna mess with you. I think I was always coming from behind on this one. Oh! Part of me wants to go look up some like tips and tricks for this game, but then part of me feels like that's unsporting after this long. I don't know. I guess it's fine. Part of me feels like I have to do this entirely under my own power. <laughs> I don't even know what tips and tricks there would be to look up for this. Like, oh, go clockwise instead of counterclockwise. Can't imagine that matters. Yeah, that's true. This game is, is so execution focused that looking at tips doesn't really matter. You still have to do it. Not wrong. Look at that fleet of red guys. Now they're all dead. Like four of them chasing me. If I could, if I just got like, honestly, if I, I think if I just got like 15% better at dodging things, that's all I would need. And 
it's really like three enemies that get me consistently. It's the smaller pink ones. Once you kill a big pink one, it's the little blue tiny things. It's the red guys. That's kind of it. By and large. Oh, she's gonna blow. Captain. Ah! Oof. I got bad quickly. Clockwise just feels weird. Can't do it. Bananas! Ah, oh, should be going back for that thing. This is just turning ugly. Oh, what did I even hit? Shit. Damn it, I fucking couldn't hit that thing. Oh. I 
multiplayer getting the good gun after having a very long run of the bad gun, especially this late in the game. Like, like finding an oasis in the desert. God damn it, man. I don't know if anybody's ever crunched the numbers. I sure feel like I spend more time with the crappy gun than I do with the good one. I don't know. Who can say? It just feels like that. Ah! Oh. Lord. Holy shit. This is absurd. I'm bombing constantly. Now I have no more bombs. There's one to do. Bomb! I think I just earned that bomb and immediately used it. God damn. Did I just... Did I just... I think I just set a new record. I think I just topped my old high score. I am quite positive. 2.3. 2.310. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. I just set a new high score. <laughs> for the first time in... Quite a while. I think I was a 2.2 something before. Can't remember exactly. You know, it's not what I was after, but I will take it as a hopeful sign for the future. If I'm still able to top my old high scores, then there might be hope yet. But someday, someday I can put this behind me. Uh, and on that note, is that Brendan Sinclair on the top? It absolutely is. Brendan Sinclair, not only the cool voice of Canada, also the best... <laughs> Geometry Wars player on my friends list. Uh, and on that note, I think that's about all I've got in me <laughs> for today. So thanks everybody for watching. I'm just going to sit here and punch some buttons. Oh, you know what? I need to remember to raid more often. I feel like it is just, you know, it is the conscientious, it is the streamerly thing to do. Who is it going to be? I do not know. How about... Uh, okay, sure. What achievement does he need? The survive to one million. I guess I should point that out more often. It is the get a million points without dying. Which is very hard. It's very difficult. It's a real... Son of a bitch. Actually, you know, I haven't thought to look at my old achievements in a while. Looks like the last achievement I got in this was 2008. The last time I got an achievement in this was before I started a giant bomb. If that puts anything in perspective. Uh, and most of them were in 2006, so... I'll get you someday, you motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for watching. It's been real and fun. Uh, I'm going to fade out of here. I'm going to set up a raid. 
Everybody be good. Have fun. Be safe. Let's, uh, let's get some sleep. What is the Goku thing? Was it like sleep well, eat a lot of food, train hard? <laughs> Maybe I should watch more Dragon Ball. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for joining me. It's been fun. See you next time.